Hello, everybody. Um, I took and made a mistake on the last video. I was called out on it by by one of the viewers. And um, so uh, what it is, is a mistake I made was I did not address the issue of anchoring your fingers to the banjo. And I'm glad I was called out on it because I should have done that because it can help you. Um, so <clears throat> this is going to be addition to lesson number one, and we're just going to call it uh, so you'll know what it is to look it up, to anchor or not to anchor. And uh, so let's just get right with it. Let me bring this down. And we will show you, well, bring it around here okay so to anchor I, so what you want to do to anchor your banjo now since we're playing two finger banjo we can use all three of these fingers if you want to find an anchor right here on the head of your banjo I don't like doing that. I mean, I might have my fingers kind of laying on the head and I've gotten to where I actually really, I just kind of lay my fingers there. I'm not really anchoring them, but that, that only comes with time or especially your bluegrass players and stuff. They're going to have them babies anchored because it can, it can help you have better control of your hand and fingers and everything. Okay. That's, that's one way. Another way is, is since you're not playing um, bluegrass is uh, you can use your ring finger or your middle finger to use that as an anchor that's another position whatever is more comfortable to you there again there's your ring finger you can use that to anchor now that see I, I probably I wouldn't do that because that kind of feels a little awkward to me or just your ring finger and your pinky, which now your bluegrass players, that's what they're going to do because they use the middle finger and the, the index finger. So they're just going to use those two and play like that. And, you know, they also will go up and down depending on the finger. So you listen to this. A lot of them will play back here. Now, where you do anchor, it's hard to see it on the video. You want to kind of cock out a little bit to miss the bridge. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to say this. I just barely missed the bridge when I put my fingers down there. And sometimes when I'm playing, I might occasionally feel that uh, corner of the bridge. And whenever I do, I know just to raise my finger out a little bit like that. Um, so it's a good idea to anchor it will help you have better control of the banjo and especially starting out as a beginner but also don't strain your hand when you anchor um, concentrate on these strings what you're doing and just let the anchor be a little bit secondary to you because you need to concentrate on the bum ditty to get it down. And um, like me, I don't actually plant my fingers on the banjo. Another thing too, if you don't anchor, see, like right now, my fingers are not on the head of the banjo. It's hard to tell because of the video. And do you hear that tone? Your your banjo kind of has overtone. So another nice thing about anchoring down on the on the head is it mellows those overtones out. And I think your banjo just sounds better. So I hope that helps. And um, 
and we'd be sure I covered everything on that. You know, as we're claw hammering, there's no anchor. There's no anchor except where your thumb maybe will come down on that fifth. You can sometimes rest it on the fifth too whenever you're, but we're not doing claw hammer. We're doing two finger banjo. Uh, so, like I said, now, if your aspirations is to go from two finger to bluegrass, you might want to just to learn to anchor with that ring finger and that pinky. That way that'll leave that free. I have no aspirations of, I can play bluegrass two finger style, which is actually a little bit more difficult than playing it three finger style because you got to be a little faster with your two fingers because you're not using this finger on your first. Um, but I don't have any aspirations of playing three finger banjo, just two fingers. So for me, I just kind of, I really, you know, well, where I've gotten so used to, I just kind of leave them like that wherever I play, you know. Got the idea. <laughs> All right, there you are. So, I would like to thank Jason for calling me out on this. And that is what I call a very positive comment because you, you beginners and stuff learning this, you really needed to know that. So I apologize for not putting that on my first video. And uh, as always, I'd like to say John 3.16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. So God bless y'all, and thanks for viewing.